Uh, this piece is called The Writer. I'm reading a story by Margaret Atwood. The first line is, the waitresses are basking in the sun like a herd of skinned seals, their pinky brown bodies shining with oil. This sentence slides over me, roughs me up like a ghost at the feast. A fist blunts my gut, time crackles at my heels. My brown suede boots are good for running. A conveyor belt of days, hours, seconds, weeks. The years fizz away from me the way towns and villages whoosh backwards when you stare at the window of a train. How long before I write a sentence like hers? Waitresses, seals, herds of teenage girls. How many days have I climbed inside my Perspex Houdini box when my wrists undo themselves from the chains? A tiny starfish wriggles towards the light. A tiny starfish wriggles towards the light. Fingers tap the keyboard. Snowflakes cartwheel backwards into blackness. Trolls lean into the landscape. I pour myself over the skin of today. There is a dusky film between our bodies and the earth we walk. It's in the bitten fingernails of the teenage boy who stands next to you in the queue. The sleeves of his check shirt too long for his rattlesnake arms. A girl in a miniskirt smokes a cigarette, tries to look bored. I want to tell her it's okay to be earnest sometimes. People pipe out their notes. On Shop Street, music makers wrap caramel treble clefts around your brain. I sit at my desk. Reams of skin unpeel themselves from my face. Teeth unhinge themselves from my gums. Metaphors boil over in the soup of my brain. A press of, funnel, of voices funnels through the dark brown velvet mud. This is strong magic. My mind is licked clean as a spoon. Words can cut you open. Yesterday I saw a woman hooked with arthritis. Her veiny hands fought with a Tesco bag of groceries for one. Over and over, faces stare back at me through the screen of my laptop. I drizzle honey on my porridge flakes. I shrug on my everyday superhero cape. I dive beneath the dark press of a November morning. Sometimes when I sit down to write, I leave my logic suit at the door. I take it off the way a worker in a nuclear power plant unpeels their overalls when they step into the light. Then, I can saute the verbs, broil the nouns, steam the conjunctions, souffle that day in July at the fairground I wore red. We laughed like it would never end. So let's clink our glasses like skinned seals. We'll roast ourselves, not beneath the yellow sun, but in the glowing ropes that bind meat to air. We'll baste each other in kisses, eat each other's hearts out, and licking our fingers set the whole thing ablaze.